there, I'm an SCP Hunter, real estate broker, financial expert. And today in the series, we're going to be talking, well, real estate is the courses that you need to take before you can sit down to take your real estate exam. We're talking about the books that you need to read and you need to take the courses you'll be taking. So today we're going to be talking, this is the third one I'll be recommending for you to take. Each day, like I mentioned previously, has its own book version. But this is going to be for the state of Texas. Basically, this book built upon the principles of real estate. This one will give you more uh, general, but in depth. But this one is actually going to cover the contracts in itself. So basically, this will be one course. And you could take it online. You could take it by correspondence and then take the test online. Or you could take it uh, video format. Now... Like I mentioned before, the best option is always to buy the book, um, to have a combination of both. If you're going to buy it online, that's fine, but it's never going to cover as much as the book will. And because it's mostly PDF and they, will, they only give you kind of highlights. I take both. Um, I pass them because I'm used to it, but I know that, that it lacks a lot of information. And it's unfortunate because uh, newcomers do not know this, um, how much is lacking. Now, this one the, it, it's a very simple one. It gives you a little questionnaire at the end to quiz your knowledge. But this one, what it covers is going to be actually the, let me see, let me take a look. Using the prolongated contract forms, which is a contracts we use to sell single one to four. Um, that means that one single home to a four unit building. You could use this form and it will actually give you, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm not, it's going to be the actual form they give you. If they, yeah, they do it. Now, remember to buy the most updated version because they, they do change the forms. Um, you always, if you go to that site, uh, the, the Texas or your state specifically site, they're always going to give you the updated version. So this is might be older and not updated if they made any changes. And they have made changes. They always do. Um, so anyway, this one will tell you what each part means. And so this is your bread and butter, actually, of the real estate. Now, each it, we have different forms for different uh, type of units. For example, condominiums, land have their own uh, new buildings, uh, new projects, such as new houses, uh, have their own. So each has their own. How to, the people sell the actual items inside their home. What kind of form you need for that. Um, sometimes you need amendments, make a big part of what we do because we need to make changes, change due dates. Usually sometimes you cannot close on time. We need to tell them about the financing. And so it talks about the third party addendums. If people are not buying cash, then you'll be needing this form. And so this one is the, um, the forms that we use in the industry. And what I recommend for you guys to take next. I hope this has helped. Till next time.